Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here, sitting on the couch at Norman's Rare Guitars. El Jefe Norm Harris is here as well uh, as Joe Bonamassa. And one of the sexiest looking 1955 Ash Body Strats that I've ever laid eyes on. And I didn't buy this one. No, this is, yeah, this say, is... Oh, the... Joe's new guitar, blah, 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 blah. blah. I didn't have... I, I have one like this, so yeah. I, I don't need... This one. This one, but... Some... Since when did you go to what you need? How many guitars does anybody I've... need? This is great. This is great. But um, but no, everybody can say, well, Joe bought it. I know. I, I, I haven't. So, didn't. As of yet. yet. As of yet. <laughs> Still here. Uh, Look some... at the wood on this guitar. This is ash. One the very piece. first um, Fender Strats, were, they used ash as opposed to alder, which they started using later on. And this one, the piece of wood is just, I mean, this is like a sunburst less palm, but with like a radical top. Yeah. And I mean, Look at the fretboard. That's just. He played C. He played G. Yeah, and, and, and F and C. And that's about it. I mean, that's all you need. For maybe a, a punk of it. Or then, then if you want to play another. There you go. You know the thing about it that always gets me about early strats is how right Leo got it the first time. Just right out of the gate. It was right out of the gate. Now the 54s have a slightly different contour on the yeah, neck yeah. and they're a little more crude and I think the magnets are a little bit bigger. There's a few difference, but you're talking about eight, 15 months into production, they figured it out nailed like, it. and nailed it. And it's like, this is just as relevant in 2018 as it was and he 55. did it with the Black Cartelis too, right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Never got better. You know why they actually needed a research and development department kind of sometimes is goes beyond me. Because they, it's like we invented a, a, a wheel round. Yeah. Now let's see if we can make an eight-sided mm -hmm. wheel or something. It's like, man, you did it to begin with. I mean, I don't know what else you could do with a wheel. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, by the mid-60s when they were developing the, the, the Jaguar and the, the Jazz Master, these great guitars as they are, and they're iconic, and... They, they, they were much more complicated of a machine than, than the Strat. I mean, the, the beauty of the early 50s was the simplicity. It was the amps, it was the guitars. It was just like, okay, here's sound one, sound two, sound three. I don't even think they, they, they anticipated you know, people more wedging in between. What you can do on a Telecaster, by the way, there's four sounds on an early Tele. There's the dead tone, there's the front. You can get all four sounds on it. You can wedge but the this. one thing that they got right on this in the telly was the tailpiece. Mm -hmm. I mean, the vibrato on this, even the hard tail on the strats, the telly, the Jaguar and Jazzmaster and Mustang and a lot of those other guitars, yeah. Yeah. you know, in order to really play on them now, you need to use, you know, the, uh, you know, the Compensate, aftermarket yeah, yeah. compensated things to really get the strings to break over the tailpiece to make them play and all that. Yeah, I mean... They, they work with that, but... In with the light design. strings. Again, yeah. I guess when they ship, they probably... 12, 12 or 13 gauge flat wounds. They yeah, pop hold. right out of yeah. the, uh, you know, you the saddle. On there and they pop so up. you need to have more of a break coming over. Yeah, there. I have a 60 Jazz Master that I bought from the original owner. still has the original strings. And they're heavy. Very, very heavy strings. And that was the intent, was just right. big strings, low action. And the rhythm, they were chord guitars. They weren't... Right. Shred guitars, and they certainly and, weren't big string bender guitars. No, either. and you know, and even with the early Strats, is you know how miraculously preserved this is. If if I was to gig this guitar three songs a night for two weeks, you'd see more. Yeah, you'd burn through that. You'd burn through it so weeks. quickly. Yeah. I have I have a road guitar, a '55 hardtail, similar to this, that I bought from the original owner's family, along with a blonde double neck Gibson. And I play an open A, one song a night, and I've had it on the road for the last year. And I, I can, you can almost map out where, where I play. You? And I play slide on it, which is not touching, but I, I fret some chords. And it just, you look at it every day, and it's like, it's just wearing out a little bit more. I mean, if you just look at the finish here, how it's sinking into the ground. I mean, these are not finished like the 60s guitars. There's a no. thinness to that. It's like a piece of furniture, or like a, like a... The console table or some, you know, it's just just gracefully sitting right there on the surface, and it's there's not much there sealing it in or anything. Well, the whole purpose, was, you know, it, it, these guitars weren't built by John D'Angelico or you know, yeah. they, they were they were craft the they were, they were guitar? utility guys from Fullerton, you yeah. know, and and Leo just go here, do this. They were okay. asking cowboys, what should I yeah. do? What would be the guitar that you would need? Um, you know, some of the other features are, are the two-tone sunburst ash body. 
big light parts, round string so, retainers. It's all basically 54 spec, except for the case and the serial. I guess the knobs. Well, these are a series two knobs, which you can so find on spirits, on, yeah. on 54s too, from like September to December 54. A lot of the big light would crack, you know, and that kind of thing. And the skirt knobs were long gone. The little football was long gone. The the different here. Yeah. You pay a lot of money for a form fit case and a here. little little plastic. But you know, again, if you're a historian, but this is this is a killer example. Four digit serial number. Talking about a lot of plastic, paying a lot for plastic. I mean, what are like those rings on a Sunburst Plus ball? And a, you, know. you know, all that. I mean, name your price. Right? Well, yeah, I mean, you probably get 7500 bucks for a pair. Maybe and, more. And I'll you tell know, you what. You had the right guitar and you needed it. Yeah. I just I just recently bought a lap steel in Europe, um, a 58 Ultratone. And if you look just under the cover, there's a white ring, and a PAF, and it's the same ring for the front pickup of, of a Les Paul same year. And... Um, you know, it's those kind of parts. It's like if you have to have them to restore a real guitar, great. Yeah. If you're going to throw them on a reissue or a conversion, it, a it, 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 that's a lot of money to spend. And you're not gonna, they don't they don't really do anything. Except so after all this talk about plastic and all the little nonsense, what does this guitar sound like? This sounds like a Stratocaster to me. Where it's supposed to be. Yeah. because if you pull the pick guard, I'm not saying you should on something this clean. There, underneath there will be a little piece of tape that nine times out of 10 will say Mary. And then I think 54 was Gloria and then Mary. And it, it was just the woman who inspected the whole thing. Sure. And I think Keith Richards uh, coined the term Mary Strats. And it's like uh -huh. the second year production. They really have a very special thing. It's, it's, it's not that hot rotted Stevie Ray Vaughan type of Strat tone. It's a very glassy, almost Mark Knopfler Dire Straits. You, know. you own a lot of Strats, and there's a lot of different variations on it. So this would be ash and maple, or mm -hmm. you have an alder and maple, or right. you have alder and a slab board or a laminate. Right. What I mean. Would this be still for you the best, or my, how do they vary in your opinion since you own them a lot yeah, and I play mean, a lot of them? My favorite, if I had to pick one, and I know I sound, again, here we go, um, like I, but, but I've already been called the, the king of the cork sniffer, so, so let's, <laughs> let's just, let me, let me embrace the Sniff crown away. for one second, yeah. is my favorite sonically that I feel I can do everything with, you know, based on the kind of music that I play, are the early 55, in t late 56, early 57 Bakelite parts. Um, not that the plastic sounds any different, it's just the, the way the pickups were wound, they're a little underwound, and they have that glassy, you know. And they're all know, ash body at that All ash area. body until about late, 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 late mid 56, you know, you can still get a few. Um, but the thing about it is they just have the, the, the sonic characteristics that I like in a Strat, because when, when, I, when I play a Strat, you know, you want to hear that real bell-like front pickup. It's, it's all there. All, all those, all your classic blues tones. And where I lay, when I'm playing a Strat live, I like the middle pickup only because it, it's a difference. It, you, know, you actually have a tone control with it. You know? So if you're soloing, I roll the tone control down and hit the boost, and, yeah. and it's basically blindfolded. It sounds like a Les Paul ish. Yeah. ish. But you know, there's a lot of sounds on these things that that don't get exploited. A lot of it, you know, you'll see them. Front pickup dwellers, big old patch there, you know, and it's and it's, you know, it, it's there's a lot of different sonic characteristics. You, you know, Robert Cray sound. It's like the it's 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 yeah yeah. yeah. Well, somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody, and, somebody discovered that in between things on the uh, in between the first two and the, and the 
the back yeah. where all of a sudden people wanted that kind of thinner. Yeah, I mean, well, I think Buddy Guy was the first guy, you know, I mean, yeah. so all those... People started notching the uh, yeah. three-way switch and making it go five-way, and then they developed the five-way. Yeah, I mean, and then, you know, if you saw those ones that they, you know, Selmer imported to England, they, they used to add those two, the, they used to add a little switch to the pickguard, which would combine them all, they kind of would fudge with the wiring. They would paint them all red to look like Hank, Hank, Marvin's, Hank Marvin's guitars. Oh, yeah. um, but, you know, it's... It, all the, the classic Strat tones that are there, and it's just a twist of the knob. But this is a very nice example. Somebody's going to end up with a really nice Strat out of this, out of this video. Maybe. <laughs> uh, do we get the Joe Bonamassa endorsement on this? I, I like. Listen, you had me at hello with a Nash body Strat in the sweet case. <laughs> you had me at hello. He's weak, especially with those latches that still. Flip I like the open. latches. Oh, it's a yeah. good sound. Yeah, it's 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 a cool piece. It's a very cool piece. And Joe is living in L.A. and in Nashville, mm -hmm. and his beautiful girlfriend, Yes, I would like to just say Sinead, uh, <laughs> is one of my favorite songwriters. She's going to probably slap me over the head with maybe an Ash Body Strat or something like that, but we love her, and one of her videos is one of the most popular videos we've ever done. That's so right. Check out her stuff, too. And we're going to be on the Blues It has Cruise. no dislikes with it has no dislikes. It's it's all Only positive. Positive thumbs up and unlike me, which is, as soon as you <laughs> put on it, it's like it's thumbs down. It's like central. If I ever, I even dislike my own video. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever looked at what people said about me, you'd probably never see another video again. <laughs> but I have very hard skin at this point. You, you have know? to. You have to. But I have a new hat, so it all is good. It all works out. out. There's your guitar spotlight, 1955 Fender Strat, Joe. Thank Thanks you, Mark. Back. Thank you, Norm. Thank Good you, to see you guys Thanks again. Thanks for uh, torturing us with your uh, guitar as well. Well, too. you know, it's it's you know, it's a it's not only an addiction; it's a it's a hobby and a lifestyle. Well, he knows to come to the hospital to the right ward where the other addicted <laughs> people are. Yeah, you know, exactly. So. We'll get through it together. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.